Start by adding a drum rack and an audio effect rack. From there, add an expression control and an envelope MIDI to one of the cells of the drum rack. On the envelope MIDI, switch mod to remote, attack down, decay down, sustain up, and release down, and turn velocity off. In the audio effect rack, we'll rename the macros Shifter, FX1, FX2, FX3. We'll map the envelope MIDI to Shifter. In the expression control, we'll set the source to random and map it to FX1, FX2, and FX3. Next, inside the audio effect rack, we'll add a shifter and a utility. We'll map the gain to shifter, open up the map button, and set the maximum to zero. We'll assign the course to FX1, window to FX2, and the delay time to FX3. We'll go back inside the map and pull down the delay time. For the course tuning, we'll adjust that to negative 10 to plus 10. Now that everything is assigned, we can add a return track and drag the audio effect rack to the return track. All of the mappings will stay. Now we can add in a loop and turn the send up for that loop. You can see that when we press play, even though the send is turned up, no audio is coming through. So we'll add a new MIDI clip for the drum rack where the expression control is and add in some notes. We can drag the audio effect rack back to the drum rack and add in more effects and then drag the audio effect rack back to the return. Now we can come back into the MIDI and add more notes. Bring out more of the nuance of the glitch effects by adding something like an OTT and a drum bus. We can also just add notes to each effect, select them all, turn the chance down, duplicate, and let randomness take over. With the audio effects being on a return, it's easy to add in your own racks. 